spring green Wisconsin rolling hills, dairy farms, hot rods and customs. You gotta love it. AMC, man, AMC. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Spring Green, Wisconsin, stomping grounds of Frank Lloyd Wright. And believe me, if you look at the architecture around here, you can tell. But I'm telling you, this is a great southern Wisconsin town, and they pull out all the stops for this downtown car show. It's going to be a blast. And hey, we're in Wisconsin. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Five forty Merlin, that's respectable. Wow, very nice. A small block grill. Badger State, badger, badger, badger. That's a sleeper. Hey, Hi, Dennis. How you doing, man? Oh, nice to meet you. We're doing good. I I love Spring Green. I mean, I, I, and I don't think I've been here for several decades, but I'm not from that far from here, maybe 80 miles from here. This is a beautiful town, man. Beautiful town, old buildings, a lot of nostalgia here, some cool cars as you see. <laughs> I mean, we got a little bit of everything for you. You really do, I mean, there's quite an array. That's one long 56. And how many cars you have this year? I mean, this is a final, big year. Final count's not in, but we're looking at about 750 to 800. Oh. Thanks to one person that we might know. <laughs> who, who could that possibly be? <laughs> well, you know, the, the weather today, this is magnificent. It's 80 degrees and sunny, oh, Chamber of Commerce weather. Absolutely, and thank you, Chamber of Commerce. That's right. But I, I've seen plates. I mean, you're getting a lot of Illinois folks because you're close to the border. Sure. I see some Michigan, Minnesota. Yes, you bet. So how long have you been doing the show? I've been doing it eight years. I, um, this would be probably its 10th year. Yeah, and it's done just to do it? Just to have a lot of fun in town and a lot of people around, just to do it. Why not? Well, you know, in Spring Green, it's a beautiful setting. The Frank Lloyd Wright connection is just incredible. The architecture you see here and there. You know, House in the Rock. House in the Rock is, you know, I mean, that's worth the, the, the trip alone, but it's, it's really, really, a cool show. And the Chamber of Commerce and the, the town seems to get behind it. Oh, you bet. Everybody's behind it. It's good for the town. You don't have all these cars here and stuff. It's it's, it's fun. Everybody wins. Everybody <laughs> wins. <laughs> well, it's been a blast. And like I say, I've seen some insane things. In fact, one I'm going to show you. Come come with me. Come you with bet. me, Todd. Well, Tom, you know, Amphicars are pretty crazy to begin with. Uh, you, and you already know that. And of course, they, this is an original over here. This is what it, they looked like. That's what it started with. Regular, premium. Really not much of a car, really not much of a boat, no. but they'll do them both, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But you kind of <laughs> you kind of went to work on this one. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I was a block or so away, and I saw this thing rolling in. I said, is that a Pro Street Amphicar? Well, it's not a Pro Street, but it's, it's, it's just about as insane as a Pro Street Amphicar. You've done a lot here. Now, Obviously, you've gone bullet nose studi up yes. here. You brought the headlights out too, didn't you? The headlights, you? these are 39 Ford. Yeah, yeah, the lights. The fender is stocked to here. Oh, no kidding. And did you have to cut back then? The hood's you? been all sliced and diced and, and, and rearranged. <laughs> it makes Julian fries. Yeah. Uh, and then you've obviously changed the top. It's chopped, a, chopped the windshield uh, three inches. And okay. this is a 69 Corvair liftoff roof. Now, it's, it's, I mean, Corvair never made a liftoff. You made it a liftoff, I made right? it a liftoff. It's a Corvair, and it's now a liftoff. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> now, interior-wise... This is actually a Dodge Dakota front seat that I narrowed six inches, <laughs> and this is all custom-built in the back. No kidding. And auto meter gauges. Mm -hmm. And a custom-built oh. dash. Now, uh, of course, it's, it's there, what, they're three speeds? It's four speeds. It's a four speed? Four speed. And then the little, your little skull, that, is that the, the prop? That's, That's what the propellers. engages the propellers. Yeah, forward yeah. and reverse. And when these go in the water, of course, those you kick those on, that moves you around. But steer with the front wheels Correct. still. They, they yep. become the front, your, the front rudder. This looks Mopar. It's 58 Chrysler. <laughs> so Windsor. You grafted that. Now, so this is, I mean, you made this a lot heavier. Actually, it's 400 pounds lighter than a stock one because I eliminated the windows, the convertible top, all really? the mechanism, the glass. And so even with these steel fins, the mm -hmm. car is total. 400 pounds lighter. Yes. So this is now your exhaust? This is the bilge, and this is exhaust. <laughs> I wanted the dual exhaust look. A engines back here. What, yes. So, I mean, is it stock Ampha back here? Yes. I souped the motor up a little bit. It's got a Weber side draft, yeah, and, uh, yeah, mild yeah. cam, and some performance exhaust. It's actually a Triumph uh, Spitfire engine. And that was the original in it? That's original. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then, and this is how the That's cooling was set up. That's factory radiator. Mm -hmm. And there was enough air in here to keep things cool? Yes. Yeah, you pull it in here, yeah. and then the exhaust hot air comes out the oh, sides. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are people digging this? I think so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I am. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Tom, thank you very much. 64 
Amphicar. Amphi well, yeah, but it's oh, a... Amphi Baker. Amphi Baker Finzilla. <laughs> love it, man, love it. Thank you. Well, Gary, it's uh, good to see you again, man. <laughs> you're sort of the you're sort of the Tri Five Limo guy. Now you've created some of these, but this one is a real deal, right? This was done in '55. Yes, this What's is story? a this is a stageway. It was produced in Fort Smith, Arkansas. What happened was you took your car into them, and they made it into a limo. That's how they did it. So they didn't make limos; they made your car into a limo. That's right. Who wanted a '55 Chevy limo in '55? Well, I think the Army was one of the ones for uh, staff cars. I know in 57, they bought about everything Stageway made. It's awesome. It's just, can, can I open the door? Sure, go ahead. This is pretty much 55 here, right? I mean, that's that's just 55. It does have a Lincoln Town Car front seat in it because it's so right. comfortable. But I mean, the door. Yeah, the doors are all 55, yeah. This one, though. This is, one's bigger. Yeah. A little more of a challenge. Then there's this one. This is the door we kept on the car because it was so different. It's narrow. Yeah. But this is the door that's really cool. Yep. I mean, you got the notch in there and everything? That's the factory 55 rear door for a four-door sedan. That's what it is. The exact door. One, two, three, four. Eight-door car. Eight-door car. <laughs> and then this, the rear of a 55. Yes. I mean, from here back, she's 55 Chev, right? Right. Even the bumpers. You didn't, I mean, that's stock bumper. It's all it? factory, yeah. In 55, did they still power them with the 55 Chev engine? A six cylinder wouldn't pull all that lead, would it? It would, in fact, a lot of them were six cylinders. All the ones I've seen were. I'll bet this doesn't have six in it anymore. No, no it's a 3D3 stroker motor with a blower. Let's go look at that. Okay. Well, that's nicely hinged. So 3D3 stroker, what blower is that? 371. 371. Little baby, yeah. <laughs> baby blower, B&M valve covers. Do you have radial tires on it and have you upgraded the suspension oh, yeah. oh, and everything sure. so it's got disc brakes in the front and a different steering box and it's got a rag joint and a tilt and it, it's updated well gary like the license plate says mr 1955 <laughs> this is wild i respect that oh thank you an eight door 55 chevy that's right you gotta love it Jeff, this is an incredible car. 57 Plymouth Fury. Yep. Right? Yep. Massive car. It's a Virgil Exner design. Did you restore it? Yep. Me and my dad restored it in our own shop. Wow. I mean, this is a big project, and they don't they don't reproduce many parts for this car. No, they're like finding dinosaur eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of hard to find. Well, uh -huh. things like the grill in gold, that's like an anodized or something or what? Yes, that's anodized. We sent that down to Chicago to get that done. Man, what a bumper. I've never noticed that before. But this is That's one piece, two. It's at least three pieces, right? Yep, it's three pieces. The Man, I love bumper those. wings. Yeah. And then is this the setup it had? These are Yep, everything's odd. original. You know, it's almost, it's almost a Lincoln front end, isn't it? Right. These were the hardest to find. Right really? Here. Yep, and then have the ball up on top. Man. And man, I love two-door hard tops. You know, they just, there's so much open sight through here. You put the windows down and, and you just can see everything. And it's got a great dash. Very Plymouth. Yep, it's got the 150 mile an hour speedometer on it. Wow. That's all the original. Now, how about the dash color? Would that have been the original dash color in this yes. car? And in the Fury on the uh, door panels? That, yep. That was there? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's geez. all original, and those were hard to find, too. And then the 6040 seat, very, very Mopar. Yes. Phew, it's gorgeous. <laughs> and this is one of the weirdest fin treatments, though, on this car, I think, ever. It's, you know, back here and then kick up. And I guess Caddy was playing with something like that at about that time, you know, kind of these little fin sprouts almost. Yep. And did it have the dual antennas? Yes, that's all original, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that just looks so sleek, so yeah. slick. Of course, they don't drive down the road with them out that high, because they retract right down in. Yeah, but when they're up, it really, it does oh, look Oh, yes, wild. it does show Now, this, this would have had a 318 in it, right? Yes. Let's go look at that, baby. OK. So, wow. 318, but dual quad 318. Yep, that's the way it comes factory. And the uh, gold block and the gold uh, valve covers, that was the, the, the correct color in 57. Yeah. How about that? That is a wild looking car. And I mean, you're here with your son. Yep. He digs the hobby too, apparently. Oh yeah, he loves it. He likes to go get the trophies if we get them. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet with this car, you get a few of them. Oh yeah. Well, I tell you, you got 
a really wild car here, Jeff. 57 Plymouth Fury, 318 dual quad. You bet. Thanks for bringing it out, buddy. You bet, thank you. I like the sparkles. Well, John, a 74 AMC Javelin. Correct. These are getting pretty rare. Very rare, they didn't make that many of them. They didn't make many, and they rusted pretty easily, they didn't they? They rusted very easily. <laughs> <laughs> now this is one of the things about the Javelins. This is this is how the antenna was, right? It kind was, of sticking out. It was out just this. kind of sticking out, yeah. You know, was, they, did, they did some things really well, and some things, you know, they might have thought about that a little they, bit. They, <laughs> thought, they thought about a lot of things, and you kind of wonder about them. <laughs> well, well, you know, the other thing that was wild back then, and, and, and AMC was doing some pretty crazy interiors, and yes. this is one of them. This is the yeah, original and interior. And is this is original? This, this is the original interior. It's called uh, Cinnamon. Well, I think I did, my dad had pants that looked like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very yes. 70s. I mean, this yes. thing is so 70s. Yes. But I like how the... You know the the handle is molded into the, the yes. door panel, and it's actually a nice looking dash. Yes, it's it's kind of the wraparound dash. You got everything within arm's reach of what you need to do. Wow! Now the the color of this thing, it, it looks orange to me, but they called this Trans Am red. Trans Am red. Yeah. And then of course you redid it. You had to restripe it all. You yes. can get this the graphics. I, I was I was able to find the graphics. And it sets the car off again. It does. Very 70s. It actually brings it out. Now these big honking tail lights. 73 and 74 had the, the four square tail lights. The earlier models had, had a bar. Yeah. It was bar lights. And this, this uh, luggage was a battery rack, oxygen. Which I think sets it off. I think it yes. looks really good. Now, they came with a few different engines. You got the? I got the small V8, which was the 304. They let's, also had the 360 and the 401. Let's go look at your 304. Two barrel 304. Yep. Now, did you have to go through the engine? Well, actually, no. Uh, all I had to do is rebuild the carburetor. Actually, the stock carburetor was a Motorcraft V2100. <laughs> hmm, really? And, and, and the stock Chrysler transmission. How wild. I imagine this gets it around OK. You get it up to 65, and it just hums. And, and they ride pretty nice, actually, well, don't they? they they're very, very comfortable riding. Man. So you obviously dig this car. Yes, it's different, <laughs> and I've always been one for different. Well, this you, know, you see Camaros, Mustangs, yeah, you see and all that all the time. time. You don't see too many well, of these. Well, you know, and this was their pony car. It's a rare car. It's, it's a, a cool car, car man. Thank 74 you. AMC Javelin. Yes. Trans Am Red. Yes. Which looks orange to me. Yes. <laughs> well, Kurt, man, I was cruising by. I saw this baby. This is nice, man. This is a. This is, looks like a little screamer. 29 Ford Racer. Yeah. You've basically handcrafted this entire beast right yep so i mean I'm, I'm looking at this and you've done a lot of mods she's on actually a 29 h chassis, chassis. Yep. an h chassis is it extended uh, yes i moved the move the front spring forward drop the radiator down in between the frame rails uh-huh the radiator fits right between the rails yep was that lucky yep <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> and i love the suspension set up here these are these friction are these shocks friction uh, shocks yeah i can i made those i I thought the rear ones are a little shorter and I needed something a little longer for the front, so, so you just fabricated created them. them. Now, now they've got some sort of leather or fiber or something. In between there, yeah. and You just crank this down and it makes it stiffer, makes right? It stiffer, yep. There. Sure. So is it an aluminum body? or no, it's all it's steel. Uh, 22 gauge steel. I noticed it's, it's subtle, but your windshield's asymmetric. It's fatter over here than it is over there? Yep, I kind of offsetted the, the steering wheel, kind of like the old race cars. And then stainless steel. Gauge, dash, uh, dash with Stuart Warner gauges and then eyebrows. Those are great. Yep, those are uh, right out of the truck stop. Genuine Peterbilt. Genuine Peterbilt. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, how about the wheels? Are these originals or they repops? Um, they're standard Model A 21 inch rims, and then I put a, the truck size tire on them. I see. You do nice work, man. Yeah, well, well, well. Pretty lucky, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like a blast. But when I came by, you had the uh, you had the hood up, and it's it's the engine that just really stopped me in my tracks. Let's go look at that thing. Sure. Yeah, that's that's what yeah, caught catch my you eye. There. That does catch you. That does catch your eye. So that's a Model A block, right? Correct. Model A block counterweighted the crankshaft, uh, different cam, pistons, rods, all that stuff. What's the head? That's a uh, Thomas head. It's a repop out of California. The engines, original engines, were 38 horsepower. This is approximately 110, maybe 115 horse. Pulling a car that weighs 18, 1800. And does she run pretty strong? Oh, cruise down the highway at 70 miles an hour all day long. This is just a gorgeous car. Uh, How long did it take you to build it? 
Approximately three years. You know, for all the work you did, that is not a lot of time. You you work pretty fast. Well, I built it in my living room. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I respect that. 29 Ford Speedster. That's a bad mamma jamma, man. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> oh, man. Spring Green, Wisconsin. I love this town. And what a great show. Southern Wisconsin is a special place. You really ought to check it out.